So today, I'll be showing you guys how I was able to obtain pure isopropyl alcohol from hand sanitizer. You can do this with an ethanol-based sanitizer as well, and a channel called Lab Coats, which I've been watching for a while now, made a video on that too. Now this one's going to be a quick one, so let's hop right in. First things first, I use this particular brand of liquid hand sanitizer. I'm not sure if it's possible to do this distillation with a gel one, but feel free to try. The one I used only has four ingredients, isopropanol, water, hydrogen peroxide, and some glycerin. When we heat up the mixture, only the water and isopropanol will be affected, as the hydrogen peroxide and glycerin have way higher boiling points. Now here it says that it's only 70% isopropyl alcohol by volume, but we can only distill it to a maximum of 88% by mass, rather than the full 100%. This is because water and isopropanol form an azeotrope of 88% isopropanol at around 80 degrees Celsius, and we'll have to use other techniques to achieve the fully anhydrous form. If you're asking what that means, an azeotrope is essentially when the concentration of the substances are the same in the vapor phase as the liquid phase, and are inseparable by simple distillation. The two substances act as one, and in this case, it has a lower boiling point of either of the two substances. Now you may have seen that I put together simple distillation in the background. I then got started by emptying this entire bottle of 300 milliliters into a round bottom flask, and I cranked up the heat. After turning on the pump, the condenser quickly filled up with cold water. Now, it took a while to get boiling, but as stated earlier, the vapors coming off are indeed 80 degrees Celsius, less than that of isopropyl alcohol, which boils at 82 degrees Celsius. Due to the different densities of the liquids in this sanitizer, we can see these nice patterns, so I thought it was pretty cool to show you. I let the distillation run at a few drops per second and the beaker gradually filled up with the isopropyl alcohol and water mixture. I knew when the distillation was basically done when the temperature on the thermometer started rising again. I immediately turned off the heat when it went above 90 C and I was left with this aqueous solution of isopropyl alcohol. Then, to dry it off, I dumped into the solution a drying agent called anhydrous magnesium sulfate that I made in an earlier video. This soaked up all the water that was present in the azeotrope. And just a quick tip, I can tell when I've added enough of the salt if I swirl it around and it forms a suspension rather than clumping at the bottom. The salt can then be filtered off. Now this is an optional step, but I redistilled it again to make sure that it was nice and pure. And there we have it, obtaining pure alcohol from sanitizer. So I'll see you in the next one.